Mr. Badger, you can't eat all that chocolate. Stop being tempted. Look the other way. Yummy, yummy. Yes, I know it's yummy, yummy. And you want to buy all the chocolate in the shop. But you can't do that, can you, Mr. Badger? And you can't buy all those sweets either. They'll make you poorly. It's not very healthy. I know it's tempting and you want some mm mm Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, I feel tempted too. You should eat some carrots or, or some bananas or something. Huh? Look, at school, there's a box of bananas. They don't look like yellow bananas to me. They look like orange carrots. That's strange. They are not. Ah, oh, the bananas are underneath the carrots. Let's see how long my dog wait, Asha wait, wait, can resist wait. the temptation to eat the wait. biscuit. Look at her lipping wait. her lips. Oh, wait. she's feeling peckish. How long is she going to wait for? Can she resist eating the biscuit? Hmm, how long do you think she's going to last for? She's so tempted. Oh, she's given in. She's going to eat the biscuit. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's yummy biscuit. Off she goes. Can my cat, Fudge, resist the temptation to eat this little block of cheese? The answer, no. She just cannot resist. She cannot follow instructions. She just wants to eat the cheese. Do you find it difficult to say no? Or not do something or not eat something? My I cat Fudge more. does, doesn't she? She finds it really hard yeah, to say no like and to resist temptation. What about these birds? They're all fighting over the bird seed. They can't resist the temptation to peck away and fight and fly around and try and grab some food. They're quite selfish. Look at them squawking and fighting and they need to be kind to one another. Look, they're pecking. They're flapping at one another and they're giving in the to temptation to fight. That's no good, is it? Do you remember that recently we talked about road signs and all the different signs that tell us what to do? And we said that the Bible gives us rules too. And that's partly to help us say no to things that we shouldn't do to resist temptation, like going the wrong way down a one-way street or going too fast or something like that. Did you find out what these two road signs mean? The top one with the black stripe means national speed limit or 70 miles per hour. And the bottom one, the red and blue, means no stopping. Sometimes in our toilets, we have rules to help us keep things clean, tidy and safe. Look, this one says, please look after our toilets. We should resist the temptation to muck them up. And when we're playing with our friends, we should resist the temptation to do things like knock over people's snowmen or snow badgers like this. Mr. Badger, that wasn't very nice, was it? And whether we're playing in the park the playground or anywhere we should play nicely together now i'll tell you something which is really good just look at all this food it looks really tempting and delicious now there's nothing wrong about it being tempting but we shouldn't be tempted to have too much i've got an apple and blackberry pie made by my daughter some banoffee pie made by my wife and at the back there there's some cheesecake made by my son it's good. Now, Badgers, you can eat just three chocolate eggs. I know you like eggs and I know you like chocolate eggs, but you have just three. Don't be tempted to eat any more. OK, all right, I'll be back in a moment.
Remember, don't eat more than three chocolate eggs. Just eat three or you'll feel a bit sick. Badgers, what have you done? What do you mean they've fallen on the floor? Sometimes new challenges can be really difficult, can't they? And we can be tempted to say, no, I'm too scared, I'm not gonna try that. Go on, Mr. Badger, have a go down the slide. Go on, be a brave badger. Yay, well done. Sometimes it can be really tempting just to throw away rubbish. And uh, my family and I, we went on a litter pick and look at all the bottles and cans that we found. Hello, it's Father James here. And it's lovely to be with you today. I thought at the beginning I would just let you and let's spend some time imagining something. Now close your eyes and think uh, about a recent birthday party. Uh, maybe someone from your family. And there's a huge, lovely, scrumptious chocolate cake sitting there. And the chocolate icing has just been poured over it so that it's still liquid and it's still running down the cake. And you're just standing there and you can just think how lovely it would be to just take your finger and swipe right through the lovely chocolate covering and lick your finger. Isn't that tempting? Today I'm uh, I've been asked to talk to you about uh, a part of the Lord's Prayer, uh, the part that says, uh, lead us not into temptation. Now sometimes it's just as easy as that. There is something that we really want and we know we shouldn't have it but it's oh so tempting and we uh, then uh, sometimes uh, do the right thing uh, make the right choices and uh, walk away uh, and sometimes uh, we make a wrong choice uh, and uh, then we have to uh, bear the consequences of that wrong choice but sometimes it's a little bit more complicated than that if you go to some churches in America and Australia and some other places, um, not all churches, but there are some that use a slightly different version of the Lord's Prayer. And that's because the Lord's Prayer was first written in Greek. And so um, there's different translations of what uh, Jesus actually said. And so some translations have it and say in that place, uh, save us from a time of trial. Now that sounds a little different and we've all in a way been uh, over the last few months in a time of trial. Um, some of you have been at home um, learning there, some of you have been at school, uh, and all of you have probably missed uh, quite a lot of your classmates. Uh, and it's also been a trial for your teachers. Um, they've had to prepare lessons for you at school and prepare lessons for uh, people at home. And it's at those times that it becomes slightly more difficult because it's really a tough time. And sometimes uh, we just want to take the easy way out. When we pray, lead us not into temptation or save us from a time of trial, it's us asking God as well that we uh, might not come into those times of trial when things get really difficult, when we have really difficult choices and there doesn't seem to be a right answer. This is what um, Jesus 
taught us to pray because he knew that there will be tough times and he knew his disciples, the, his followers and friends would come into those tough times. And so he taught them and he taught us to pray, to pray that when it gets tough, that we know that Jesus is still at our side, that we um, in those tough times and we've all come through really tough times with the lockdown and, and everything else, um, but that we uh, can know that Jesus carries us through those times, that God is there uh, to be um, with us uh, through all of it. And when we pray, lead us not into temptation, uh, then it is say, saying, God, be at my side in those times when things are really tough, when I'm going through a time of trial, when I'm tempted to take the easy way out. We can all, um, uh, and we've all been there. Uh, so I hope that um, this will uh, give you something to, to um, uh, hold on to, um, because God is there uh, to take us through those tough times. Uh, and we ask him to not lead us into temptation. Thank you. Let's pray together. Or if you're on your own, God can still hear you. You're still together. So let us pray. Dear God, we give you thanks that you are always at our side. And we ask you that when it gets tough, that we are always reminded that you are there beside us, above us, below us, to the right and to the left, in the front and in the back, that we can rest in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father James. Now do join me with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So this year, the red notice come in a little box. And there's lots of different ones that you can collect, like chief, robin, snail, fox, badger, caterpillar, lady bee, daisy, and tommy, plus the ultra rare gold edition down at the end. Guess which one I wanted? Hmm, the badger one for Mr. Badger. I bought one of these. I opened it up and guess what I had? The Badger one! And here is Mr. Badger with his Badger red nose. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. See you all soon.